Hey Saggies and Cross Watchers, welcome to the weekly uh, love reading for Sagittarius, so Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, March 4th to the 10th. As you guys can tell, my energy is low. <laughs> uh, as some of you guys know, I've been battling insomnia in the last few nights. Um, I really haven't gotten a whole lot of sleep, so I've been drinking a, a, you know exorbitant amounts of caffeine. <laughs> Um, and it's gotten to the point where it's like, you know, I, I gotta, I gotta get videos out. So I'm pushing through, but I feel really good. I've done a lot of purging and that's really helped open a lot of my, um, my, my, uh, my crown, my crown chakra energy and also star chakra energy. For those who don't know, that's the one in the back of the head. Um, but anyway, so I'm here and I got lots of interesting, good stuff for you, Sagis, and I'm very excited. So first off, someone's got your heart racing or, or, or you're just on another Sagittarian adventure. <laughs> another Sagittarian journey or adrenaline rush, adrenaline fix, but definitely someone's got your heart racing and it feels really cute. <laughs> I really like it. I really, really like it. In the pre-shuffle, we saw the sun, Leo energy, uh, with the queen of swords. So someone could be watching you. Maybe you're in the spotlight. Maybe you're in the public eye, but I really get the sense that just someone, um, I, they gave me equestrian, which I thought was interesting. So I don't know if you, you have a thing. Well, you know, you're a horse, right? You're half horse, Sag. But I do feel like you are in that horse like energy where, um, someone's really appreciating and admiring your regalness. Like they look at you as being very regal and almost royal and very just kind of Mm, yummy. Like, what's the word for that? There's like a specific word that I have on the tip of my tongue for this. <sighs> like, not just like a healthy dose of pride. A healthy dose of pride and confidence. Um, horse energy is so... Mm, it's very... It, I just keep getting like royal... Royal, regal, beautiful, stunning. That's how someone looks at you. Like, even if you're male, someone sees you as being very, like, yummy and delicious in a very, like, royal kind of, like, hi hierarchical kind of way. It's like someone that you can also depend on. Horse horses, that kind of energy, it's very sturdy, right? But they're also a little bit of free, free spirit kind of energy. There's someone who's really admiring that about you, and they're watching you. They have their eyes on you, and they just love to look at you which is like unbelievably cute, Sag. They love to look at you. So I'm very excited to see what we get for you guys, okay? Um, I do get the sense though that communication's picked up a lot between you and this person, regardless of the pre-shadow mercury effect. Um, and again, this could be work. I mean, it feels romantic. It feels very, rom very romantic if I'm being totally honest. Um, but it can definitely be in the workplace too. Office romances happen all the time, do they not? Um, but it feels great. Someone just has so much admiration for you, Sag. And it's just, it's, it's, God, it's adorable. Um, but let's get into this. So it goes without saying, guys, this is a general uh, love reading for the sign of Sagittarius. So Moon Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Not all messages will resonate with everybody. Um, messages come through for those who really need to hear them. So sometimes that's going to be you and sometimes it won't and that's okay. Um, if my energy is not resonating with you, by all means, go ahead and check out any other reader we have on YouTube. They're all fabulous, okay? Um, also guys, keep, keep in mind we are working with energy, so messages can be vice versa or reversed. They could pertain to you, your partner, or someone in your immediate environment, or someone that you interact with regularly, or think about regularly. And don't get hung up on the gender of the cards, nothing is gender specific. And I know, my I, I almost can feel your concern about my energy level. I'm fine guys, I'm, I'm okay, but my you can tell even like my, my voice is very low hum but we'll see how this goes i've noticed with readings when i'm even when i'm feeling like this and i start getting into the story my energy amps up so hopefully you guys can give me a little dose of that awesome sag energy okay any messages for sagittarius regarding love march 4th to the 10th god someone just loves your spirit loves your spirit i don't think you realize how adored you are by this person um any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? March 4th to the 10th. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? March 4th to the 10th. Okay, that feels pretty good. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? Ooh. Ten of Swords in Reverse. Interesting. So for those of you who do have recent communication again, you guys definitely had a breakup of some kind or an end, an ending of some kind. Something's ended. Something's ended between the two of you. It feels positive though. In this, in this position, that definitely tells me you guys are coming out of it. Um, 
I think some hurtful words were said, Sag. I think some really hurtful words were said. I don't think... Sag, you know, don't hate me. I, I don't think you meant to hurt this person. But I think you did... I, Sag is known to be blunt. You might have been a little too blunt with this person. Um, but whatever this ending was or is, um, it's... It's something that, that needed to end. It's for the positive. It's for the positive between the two of you. Any messages for Sagittarius? Ooh, that's a lot. Am I taking all of these? Yes? Ooh, okay. It's a lot. <laughs> so we have four swords in reverse. Death, Scorpio energy. See, more, more endings, right? But it, it feels really positive, guys. It really does. Ooh, Empress. Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy. I love that. I love it. That feels great. Oh, this, ooh, ooh, ooh. This does not feel great. Mm -mm. We got two different energies going on here wrapped up in the same story. And it feels like multiple people are involved in this. So we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. Could also be um, Virgo, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with the Queen of Wands, Aries energy. Could also be... Um, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with the Five of Wands. Yuck. Yuck, Sag. I do not like that. It's almost like... Um, wow. Devil in reverse. Capricorn energy. So good. There is release happening here. So, Sag, I feel like you're taking on the Empress energy here. Um, and again, you're very much adored. But then there's these energies down here. And they feel very external. And again, it feels like there's a lot of people involved. I feel a lot of hate, to be honest. I feel a lot of hate. A lot of hate. But it's being re it's being released here. But it's something that um, you either... I don't think many of you have had direct contact with this hate. You might just have a lot of haters in the midst um, attached to uh, the person you're connecting with here. Okay? It, just, it really doesn't feel good. It feels very low vibrational, very petty. It feels really yuck. Really yuck. All right, so let's see what else we get for you guys. And it's like they're their own line and you're your own line. You know what I mean? There's a sense of division here. If this is like a, a group of friends that you're involved with, you're on the outskirts because you're just more high vibrational. Any mess? <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, shit. I forgot that's the hot tea. No, I was about to down that. That would have been horrible. Ooh. Oh, okay. Any messages for Sagittarius? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Any messages for Sagittarius? Okay. Overall energy. Ooh, two of cups. Soulmate energy. I love it. So, yeah, I definitely felt that loving adoration here. Oh, wow. Very nice, Sag. Look at that. Hangman in reverse. Piscean energy with the six of swords and the nine of cups. I love it. And I feel like whatever this realization is. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not... I can't see very well. It's upright, but I do feel a release coming very soon, especially with the devil in reverse and this moving on, moving away into wish fulfillment and happiness. Sag, this is either your or your partner's energy, and we'll get into it and decipher it, that there's someone who's having a spiritual awakening, a realization, and I think it's about realization about this energy or these people um, realizing the need to get away. <laughs> realize the need to get away and to go towards their happiness, which I do feel like is you, Sag. Okay, so let's get into this. This is going to be a very long reading. I can feel it. And again, hang in there with me because I am incredibly sleep deprived. Um, but I'm feeling a lot of intense energy for you. So let's look at this ten of... <coughs> Jesus, let's look at this Ten of Swords in reverse. Let's see what's going on there. So I have Ten of Swords in reverse. And if I have any newbies watching... I promise my energy is usually not like this. <laughs> Do I have Ten of Swords in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love? March 4th to the 10th. I also have strong material placements, and that energy has, um, it's been hitting me a little bit. It's been hitting me a little bit. Um, check your charts for the uh, Mercury retrograde effect on you, because it's usually like zero to three degree placements are really affected, or up to like five degrees, something really, really strong. Um, so check your charts and see if you're going to have to adjust, okay? Tell me about Ten of Swords in reverse for Sagittarius. March 4th to the 10th regarding love. Tell me about Ten of Swords in reverse for Sagittarius. Regarding love, March 4th to the 10th. Tell me about Ten of Swords in reverse for Sagittarius. 
regarding love, March 4th to the 10th. I do feel like that Ten of Swords is passing energy, like very much passing energy. Some of you, it's already like recent past, you know, as the day I'm filming. Tell me about Ten of Swords in reverse for Sagittarius. Tell me about Ten of Swords in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love, March 4th to the 10th. Tell me about Ten of Swords in reverse for Sagittarius. Re oh, regarding love, March 4th to the 10th. Let's see what we got here. Oh, <laughs> King of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Uh, could also be Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Wow. Page of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Wands. Oh my goodness. Okay, and overall for the Ten of Swords in reverse, we have Three of Pentacles in reverse underneath that. Five of Cups in reverse and the Fool. So definitely there was a lack of collaboration here. For some of you, this definitely was, well, breakup. Breakup feels strong. I don't even think it was a breakup. It might have just been a fight that that really inhibited you both from working together. But it, there definitely felt like, it definitely feels like there's a lot of pain attached to it that's being released, okay? Um, and I think there was just an end to kind of like low vibrational shit. It's almost like... You know, in relationships, you go through milestones of getting to know each other and adjusting to each other's triggers and like different, you know, idiosyncrasies, things, things like that. So there's there's a, I feel like there's an ending that's happened to getting triggered by some of your idios idiosyncrasies uh, of the other. Uh, Yoda speak. Hang in there with me. <laughs> My communication's really off right now. Um, that's why I was trying to wait to do readings. I'm like, no, I can't wait. I can't wait. Sorry, I'm going to try not to do you to speak. There's there's been a lack of collaboration now because there's been an there there was an there was an ending that needed to happen in regards to getting triggered by each other's bullshit. <laughs> Say it like that. And this person that you're uh, connecting with, this King of Pentacles, um, they want to fix this. Look at how he's looking at the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. <laughs> Look at that. He's like, ah, shit. What? How did that happen? <laughs> how did we get here? How the hell did we get here, Sag? Like, that's, that's what your person is kind of thinking. They definitely want to fix it. They definitely want to. But with this Page of Swords in reverse, I just feel like really poor communication, blocks in communication about this new beginning. But they really want it. They really do want it with you, Sag. I don't think that they're lying. That's usually my lying card, but I don't feel lies. I just feel really terrible blocks in communication about it. And I think it has to do with this. Ugh. Ugh, it's got to do with all that nonsense and craziness. Really gross stuff. But let's get into it, okay? <clears throat> so this first line out, the Four of Swords in reverse with the Death card and uh, the Empress energy. Sag, this is definitely the energy that you're taking on here. Uh, this Four of Swords in reverse, this is exhaustion. Um, this is that break, that rift between the two of you, that Ten of Swords feeling as well. It's like, and needing to recover from that. And someone has. And like I said, there's been change. There's been change. There's been acceptance. There's been acceptance of the other person, which is freaking beautiful. And that's being nurtured too with this Empress energy. That change and death of all that petty non... Oh, God, come on. Focus. Hold on. There we go. And that's being nurtured. The change to get rid of that low vibrational energy. And there's been a rebirth here that I'm sensing uh, between the two of you. And like I said, an acceptance of each other's little crumbs. It's really beautiful, Sag. You've accepted each other's crumbs. Unfortunately, some people here don't like that. Some of you, this is two other external people, not even the person that you're with, okay? Because the person you're with is a king of pentacles, okay? And the fact that the queen of pentacles is right here, that king and queen, um, I think that this could be a possible soulmate of theirs. But don't get me wrong, Sad, you are definitely their soulmate. I mean, look at that. You're definitely their soulmate too. So this could be in, you know, a jealous ex, but it is a mother figure, so they could possibly... Um, they could possibly have children together. We do have a page here attached to this new beginning as well. Um, oh, and but guys, be careful about pregnancy. Be very careful about pregnancy right now with the Ace of Wands out with the Empress. Be very careful about that if you don't want any babies. But there could be a jealous ex in their midst that they may or may not have children with that's very upset about this possible union between the two of you. Um, and for some of you, it's like it could be... Of family members or friends because I do feel like two people here for some of you others of you this is the same person where it's like someone who is typically very attractive but they're very self-serving they're kind of a little bit of um 
how do I describe this? They're kind of a person about who's about image. You know, there's someone who's about image. They know they're attractive and they use their attractiveness, um, you know, to get what they want. Because at the end of the day, they're in a Queen of Pentacles in reverse energy. They really only care about themselves. And all it's done is cause fighting, conflict, bitterness. It's caused a lot of bullshit, okay? A lot of bullshit. And I definitely feel like this person has had their eyes on you, Sag. Like, who the fuck does this person think they are? Kind of an energy. And you may or may not be aware of this. But like I said, for some of you, they're, these two are the same people, the same person, and they are attached to your partner or your person of interest, okay? And it's definitely soulmate energy for them. And other people, this is two external energies to you and your counterpart, causing, causing a mess. Causing a mess, causing fighting, causing rumors, causing gossip, just causing, causing chaos. But with a devil in reverse here that's being released, which is amazing, ugh amazing 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 definitely being released here but let's look at the devil in reverse see if we can get more information off of that okay <clears throat> tell me about the devil in reverse for sagittarius you could be a sag cap cusper there's a lot of capricorn energy here too i'm seeing and scorpio it could be a sword scorp sag cusper tell me about the devil in reverse Tell me about the devil in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love, March 4th to the 10th. That Queen of Pentacles in reverse energy has been very pervasive in a lot of people's readings for this time period. So please be aware there are haters in the midst for a lot of people right now. And you are one of them, Sag. So please be aware of that anytime anyone's being really successful, um, which a lot of Sagis are coming into success. There's going to be haters that follow. Also, guys, all this Piscean energy for March is going to be people. Be, ugh, put people into their feelings okay in very extreme ways oh and look at what just came out the piscean card moon in reverse could also be cancerian for me as a reader and keep in mind that new moon is also going to be in pisces so people are getting triggered people are also happier than they've ever been and sadder than they've ever been it's kind of extremes of emotions and that could be what's making these people or person act out too okay tell me about the devil in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love, March 4th to the 10th. But I feel like your counterpart, your King of Pentacles, Four of Cups just came out. There's definitely a longing missing here. Um, they really miss you, Sag. Your person, your King of Pentacles, I feel like is waking up to this bullshit, smelling the coffee, and getting the hell out and away from the, this energy. Because it's really just, it's an energy that doesn't want you two to be together. But you make them incredibly happy. Tell me about the devil in reverse. Tell me about the devil in reverse for Sagittarius. Ooh. We have the sun in reverse, Leo energy. Your person really fucking misses you. Oh my god. They really miss you. Tell me about the devil in reverse. They want to see you. Sorry, they're, they're pushing me. My guys are pushing me. They really want to see you, Sag. Like... They're, like I said, they love looking at you. They love looking at you. And it's like they want that. Th they want more 3D experience with you. Tell me about Devil in Reverse. <sighs> that damn Queen of Pentacles again in Reverse. Uh, again, Capricorn Energy could also be Virgo, Taurus, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. With Judgment in Reverse, Fire Energy. It's also Scorpionic for me as a reader. And then the Fool in Reverse. Yeah. They're realizing, again, yeah, this is the, the realization of, oh, shit, I need to get away. I need, to, I need to create more space between me and this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. That's what your partner's realizing. Tell me about the devil in reverse. Queen of Cups just came out. Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. And we have Two of Pentacles in reverse, Seven of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. Oh, Sag, here they come. <laughs> Here they come, Sag. You ready? I think you're ready. I think you're very ready. Tell me about the devil in reverse. Tell me about the devil in reverse for Sagittarius. Tell me about the devil in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love, March 4th to the 10th. Oh, yeah. Overall energy. Queen of Swords. This was in your pre-shuffle. This, And I definitely felt um, like this was their energy. 
I feel like that was their energy. Like they were watching you, adoring you, gaining clarity as well. This person, this particular queen of swords in this particular deck, a lot of intuition. Hold on. Come on. Oh, whoa. Didn't mean to hit you. <laughs> a lot of intuition, a lot of clarity. And actually, this is the first time, maybe because I've never seen it so close on camera. I've only ever noticed this ball of clarity, but now I see one, two, three, one, two, three, triangle. The, uh, the shape that's required to create any kind of sacred space is a triangle, a little bit of math nerd with spirituality logic right there, or information. So yeah, they're getting a lot of clarity because they're trying to create a sacred space and they want you to be a part of it, all right? And they're the ones who are cutting this shit out because it's the over energy for the devil in reverse. They're the ones who are saying, fuck no, I'm, I'm cutting out this craziness. I don't need this energy to come in between me and my empress. No, no more. So they're cutting out this toxicity, this, this really, really toxic energy. Again, with this person, possibly two people, family, friends, coworkers, or um, an ex that they may have a child with, okay? And it's they're doing it for you. They're doing it for you because they've gained the clarity and they've gained it here. With the moon in reverse, with the four of cups and the sun in reverse, which by the way, sun and the moon, we got a little duality going on, a little twin flame indication for some of you. Um, this moon in reverse, this is revelations and realizations in an emotional sense and intuitive sense. It's that Piscean influence that we're going to be experiencing and that your partner is experiencing. And it's making them really miss you. It's making them really realize a lot of things and how unhappy they really are in their situation um, with this energy. Okay, with that energy. Because then they immediately, like I said, have that realization here of, oh my God, I need to create space <laughs> with judgment in reverse. I need to create space from this person, <laughs> excuse me, this very toxic person, this very self-serving person, this very jealous. I get a lot of jealousy and just pure hatred. I feel like this person spews a lot of hatred, a lot of hatred out of their mouth. Ooh. They might even be a little bit of a toxic cloud. Like a little bit of a black cloud that just kind of, you know, walks the streets. <laughs> you never know. You know, you meet those people where it's like, oh, oh, don't come near me. I feel it. Don't come near me. I don't need that toxic cloud around my space. That's this person. And your counterparts realizing they need to create space no matter how deep their bond is. Because like I said, they're a true pair. They're king and queen of pentacles. And they want a rift because this person is so toxic. In the full universe, I don't know if I said Aries energy. It's also Uranus, so Aquarian energy. This full universe, it's like, I need to do this now. I need to do this. This is urgency, immediacy. Immediacy? Immediate. You all know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm so tired. I don't got my words with me. You know what I'm trying to say. They want out fast. They want out fast and <laughs> they can't wait to tell you. They can't wait to tell you, Sag. They look at you as being so intuitive and so... Just like yummy. This is Cancerian energy. This is someone who they see you as someone who's going to take care of the home. They see you as someone who's very maternal, uh, paternal, you know, you know, for any men watching doesn't matter, right? It's just that energy. Someone that would be a great uh, person to raise a family with. Okay. They tr oh, trust. They trust. My guys have told me that they really trust you. They really trust you, Sag. And they get the feeling that's hard for this person to trust and with the two of pentacles in reverse that's a letting go a dropping right a, a cutting out <laughs> your partner took that sword and cut the devil out okay because they're looking at their pie at their pie off pile do i got any people in the south watching me i don't know where the hell that came from <laughs> oh i am weird when i'm tired anyway <laughs> the seven of pentacles <laughs> Oh, actually, I just got North Carolina. That's interesting. I just got North Carolina. Yeah, okay, so this definitely resonates for someone in North Carolina somewhere who may be watching. But yeah, that's so interesting. Wow. Anyway, Seven of Pentacles, because they're looking at their path, they're looking at what they've invested, and they're looking at their life purpose, and they want you to be a part of it. And they're going to tell you with this page of wands, they're going to tell you very passionately, I might add. Very passionately. So moving on. Uh, the hangman, more Piscean energy with the Six of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Okay, definitely having that spiritual Piscean emotional realization. Also a lot of intuition. Their intuition is really go is really off the charts right now. I mean, look at all that. That is the all three of these cards about intuition and emotion and doing what needs to be done. Okay. 
and they're realizing they need to they need to they go towards their wish, which is you, which is you, Sag. And they're realizing it and they're gonna do it. So let's look at the nine of cups and see what all they have in their mind, okay? For their wish fulfillment with you. Tell me about the nine of cups for Sagittarius. Regarding love, March 4th to the 10th. Sorry about the dogs, guys. <clears throat> Tell me about the nine of cups for Sagittarius. Regarding love, come on, there we go. March 4th to the 10th, tell me about the Nine of Cups for Sagittarius. Regarding love, I'm getting a new deck, guys, I promise. <laughs> I don't know if I said it to you or Scorpio. I'm getting a new deck, I promise, <laughs> to replace this one. Tell me about Nine of Cups. Tell me about Nine of Cups for Sagittarius. Regarding love, March 4th to the 10th. Tell me about Nine of Cups. Tell me about Nine of Cups for Sagittarius. Regarding this spread, we'll see what I got. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, very nice, very nice. I'll show you guys when I'm done. There's four cards out here. I just, I, I'm in the energy and I don't want to lose it. Tell me about Nine of Cups. <clears throat> Tell me about Nine of Cups for Sagittarius regarding love. March 4th to the 10th. <laughs> Sag, they cannot wait to get their hands on, like, like, like physically speaking, they can't wait to just hold you close to them. Oh, it feels so sexy. I'm very jealous. Very jelly. Tell me about Nine of Cups for Sagittarius. Regarding love, March 4th to the 10th. Tell me about Nine of Cups for Sagittarius. Regarding love. I think this person's really good with their hands. I don't know why I get that feeling, but I think they're really good with their hands. Ooh. Mm. Okay, let me get all this straightened out. Sorry, I thought the dark dog yelped first. Jesus. Okay, so we got some people in the South watching me, or this definitely is re resonating with, with people in the South for some reason. Overall energy. I love when this comes out with the Nine of Cups. Oh, God, I love it. As above, so below. They're heading towards you. They're heading towards you, Sag. They're getting away from the double energy, the five of wands, shit, bullshit, hate. They're getting away from it and moving towards their wish come true, which I, I feel is also very much divine because we do a lot of divinity cards here. And the first line out, we have the eight of pentacles, six of swords, nine of pentacles with the two of cups and the four of swords, which is amazing because this eight of pentacles energy, this is about... Um, being really focused and driven to get out. That's what this is. Your partner is so driven to get the hell out of Dodge with their Ace of Cups, by the way, to bring it in to offer to you. Okay, this is my pre-Empress card. My pre-Empress card. You're about to be made into an Empress. Put a ring on it. Has to be moved in, whatever, all that good stuff. You're, you're about to be leveled up into commitment, okay? Or at least whatever the next level of commitment is for you because the only difference between the Nine of Pentacles and Empress for me as a reader is a little bit of experience and commitment and, and you know, a family. The, like Those are the big differences. It's like single bachel bachelorette empress like five years prior to being the empress, right? That kind of energy. Two of Cups, a very cemented bond here, very cemented soul uh, soul connection. And that Four of Swords tells me that both of you are going to go into recovery. Like, <laughs> both of you are going to go into recovery. I didn't mean for it to sound that way. Both of you are going to take a, t a break. I feel like some of you guys might tr actually travel with this person. Uh, and I think it might be just to get away from the craziness of what they just left behind and to really kind of further cement things with you or take things to the next level with you in privacy is kind of like the way it feels because they really can't wait to get their hands on you. They can't. Um... Because Four Swords is like, it's re it's relax. It's relax. It's relax. It's rehab. It's uh, it's healing. It's just taking that time out to recharge your batteries. And you guys are definitely going to do it together. Um, I really think you're doing it together as a unit. It feels really beautiful, guys. Really beautiful. And then we have the Two of Pentacles with the High Priestess. Piscean Energy again. Also Gemini for me as a reader. Um, this, is, this is fabulous because, Sag, I feel like you're also in this energy, which is ridiculous. <laughs> 
your intuition is also increasing. You're getting uh, more information here. You're seeing through the bullshit, which a lot of people are because of the Piscean influence during the month. So prepare yourselves for that. You're going to be seeing people for who they are and it's going to be a little intense and you're going to sit back and, and try to think about it and make a choice. And then we have... I, I feel like you're going to say yes. I really feel like you're going to say yes. I don't think it's going to be that hard for you to <laughs> make that decision, but you're going to take the pause to actually think about it before you go ahead and jump into it. Then we have the Three of Wands with the Six of Cups, Scorpionic Energy, with the King of Pentacles, again, double confirmation, Taurus Energy, uh, could also be Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, so while you take this pause, Sag, they're going to sit in waiting for you. While you take this pause to think about it, they're going to be reminiscing fantasizing this is like a fantastical six of cups a lot of fantasies involved up in this card doesn't it just look romantic kind of like disneyland it actually kind of reminds me of parrots of the parrots <sighs> pirates of the caribbean <laughs> jesus <laughs> doesn't it a little bit like the ride anyway doesn't matter so they're going to be waiting for you sag while you make your choice and it's going to be up to you but they're cutting out a lot of bullshit for you look Oh my God, doesn't that just look awful? It's literally like intense and negative devil energy and they're cutting this shit out with that Queen of Swords energy. Fabulous. Um, so let's go ahead and see what cards come out from Romance Angels and then we'll call it a night for Sagittarius. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Oh, jeez. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Wow, that's a lot of cards. Whoa, that's a lot of freaking cards. Okay, hold on a second, guys. We got one, two. You guys must just broke the record for romance angel cards. One, two, three. Wow. Four, five. Wow, seven. Seven cards here. This is intense, guys. This is really intense. Um, any messages for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Not even done. And there's some amazing cards out here. Amazing cards. And I see exactly where this bullshit entered into the, into the equation and made a problem for you guys here. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Oh, I love it. Overall energy, past life relationship. Oh, see how he's holding her? I'm telling you, that's, exa that's exactly how it felt when I felt it was like, oh, their hands. Like, they just want to, like, they just want to grab you and touch you and, like, well, you know, ravish you. <laughs> very passionate, very passionate. You've known each other before. So past life energy, soulmate energy, we already knew that with the six of cups and the two, uh, two of cups that we had on the board. Underneath that, by the way, getting to know each other. I do feel like you guys, some of you are going to be going on a trip to kind of just be alone and cement yourselves in each other's energy. Energy. Can't talk. Jesus. Okay. So let's look at these cards. I'm going to break them up according to the, the breakage of the energy that I see in the cards. Look at this. Look at this. Chemistry. This is my twin flame card in this deck for those that resonate with that. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And then this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Very nice. Very, very yummy energy. This is the energy you have with this person. Isn't that intense? Not to mention with the past life relationship. You have intense chemistry, passion. Oh, just, oh, and not to mention love, like a lot of love. And this conversation is going to take place and you guys are going to hash out a lot of things. I feel, I feel like you guys are going to have like, not just one conversation. I don't know. I'm getting like weekend energy too. Like you guys might actually take a weekend out to just sit and talk, like just sit and talk because this, this could be the one quite literally. You've already met the romantic partner you seek for life. Now here's where the problem came in with this fucking energy. <clears throat> Sorry, my nose is really itchy. Uh, which happens every reading now. And people people have been telling me that it's like, um, uh, it, it just happens when you're connected. And it's like, it just makes me nuts though. I hate an itchy nose. Let your friends help you. I hate this card. As for accept support from others. Sorry, I'm like really blunt when I'm tired. 
I hate this card. You guys know why, and I explain it every video because I get new people. Your friends and family are biased. They are. And like, <clears throat> and like I said, for some, this could be family causing a shit storm for you and your person. Okay, because when you go to your friends and family, they have their interests at heart, and sometimes they have your best interests at heart. But then at the end of the day, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to put a negative spin on it, guys, but I mean, it's just the truth. And even if your family and friends truly do love you and want the best for you, at the end of the day, because they love you, they're biased. Okay, and if you've said anything negative about this person, they're going to be extra biased. So please be mindful of who you go to. I would say talk to your guides, talk to the divine, let them help you and support you. If you do feel like you have those people in your life that you can truly trust, then definitely go with it. But, you know, be wary of who you have around you to get advice for regarding this situation, because quite clearly, someone's having some issues. Okay, someone's having some issues with that. Um, <clears throat> and then you know what we get? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. New love. A new person has stirred a romantic feelings. Wedding. The situation involves marriage and forgiving and learning. Very awesome. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. That's just beautiful, guys. Oh, God, that's beautiful. Because after this bullshit, like I said, after this bullshit, your partner was like, oh, shit. Time to, time to cut some stuff out. Time to cut some people out. Time to cut out some really toxic energy. And then they're coming back to renew this love with you. To to get it back into a better place. Um, to really level it up to the, next, uh, to the next stage. Some definitely, I think, this could have been someone that they were married to. So that could be alluding to that. I think it's also alluding to the fact that this is a potential life partner. And you guys are going to be forgiving a lot because you've learned a lot from this experience. More so your partner's learned a lot because they had that, um, where are all my cards? Here we go. Because they've had that spiritual um, kind of awakening, epiphany, into intuitive moment. Their emotions really hit them hard with this Piscean energy. I know I talk in the past tense, even though it's coming. Just hang in there with me. It just, it makes it easier for me to stay in the energy. It, I don't know why, but it does. Um, they've had this intense emotional uh, kind of like wave hit them. And it's kind of, and not to mention topped off with some intuition, right? It's really made them see through the bullshit and really see where their heart lies. And their heart lies with you. And you guys are going to forgive for each other and learn a lot from this, okay? It's really beautiful, Sag. It's so beautiful. Oh, gosh. Come on. Come back. It's really beautiful, Sag. And I'm so excited for you guys. And congratulations to whoever this is for. If you don't want this person, you don't want this person. It is what it is. Um... But I think you want this person. So enjoy your new love. And if you guys are taking a little weekend trip to go and be alone, congratulations and have fun. Enjoy that. I doubt you guys will leave the room or whatever. <laughs> okay. Have a great night and a great week. Namaste.